Welcome. Uh, today we're going to be discussing email marketing. Uh, these are emails that are going to be sent out to your subscribers once you once you grow that list, if you if you haven't already. Really very important thing, step one right away, what you need to do is create an email account, uh, just a simple Gmail account, whatever address you want uh, for it, and go to the list of top brands in your industry. Again, we're using the uh, CBD as an example, and sign up for their email list. So these are just uh, several here, but you know we had that, that website with the list of uh, 500 plus uh, CBD brands on there. Again, rather tedious, no doubt, but sign up for all those newsletters and uh, using this, this email address that you've created, okay? So this is an email address that I created probably six years ago. What you know, created it, signed up for all these uh, CBD newsletters, and just it just kind of sits there. And right now I have was it 1,679 emails in the primary uh, email box, and then I have uh, 4,846 in the promotions. Okay, so you you know obviously if you're if you need to create email campaigns right away, this isn't going to be extremely helpful, but long term it's 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 a must, right? Like it's really gonna be beneficial for you and there's no cost involved. It takes you maybe a few hours at most. So now let's suppose you're, let's suppose you're sending out an email once a week and you're a bit lost as far as content goes, which, what kind of content you need to create. Now you can just log in this email address and go through and kind of see what kind of sales are going on within your industry with the, with the top brands, right? Okay, so you can get, and get an idea, okay? These guys, these guys are offering twenty-five percent off. Okay, twenty-five gummies. You know, there's some some ideas there. Forty percent off stay, uh, site-wide, just for me. Okay, another twenty-five percent off. Twenty-five percent off. So a lot of them are offering twenty-five percent off. That could be that could be telling, but. We got one. This is something you want to go through. Okay, so what are the, um, yeah, so this is an article they just they just wrote on their website, right? And they're including this in their newsletter to, to drive traffic. So if this is a direct competitor, it, it might be worth looking into. If you're using a trust or some sort of SEO tool, you could take a look at the, the SEO for that article, and that would get, definitely give you some, some uh, ideas. I mean, I wouldn't, they're a big company, so I mean, they're, they're successful, but I mean, I wouldn't do uh, newsletters that are just uh, promoting blog content, but that, that, that's valuable, right? That gives you some, some ideas. So uh, again, it's just kind of taking through here, staff favorites, okay. Uh, again, 25% off, two days only. Okay, so they're doing something focused on golf. So if you really want to kind of have a um, insight into what's going on in the industry, I mean, this is also you know, a great way, great way to do it. Um, twenty-five percent off today only. Yeah, they're really liking twenty-five percent off, huh? So overstock. Yeah, so this is more of the template that I usually go for. Like I might have, you know, if you do happen to create an article, sure, absolutely, absolutely include that. But really, what what I generally do is I kind of create templates that are, that are similar to this, that are just very easy to plug in, where I can just enter, you know, a, a link to a, a product, and you know, change around a little bit of the ad copy, and you just have a set template that you can uh, use ongoing. And those are pretty uh, easy to create. You can hire freelancers to do that. If you don't have someone on staff, you know, there's a, you know, there's people on Fiverr that you can get 20, 30 bucks. They can design you a pretty good looking uh, email template that you can just use ongoing. So if you just have, what you could do is you could create several email templates and then sort of A-B test and send them out so you see what the response is and then sort of optimize it ongoing, just like we're doing with everything else, right? So create a good looking template. You log into this email account. You take a look at what everyone else is doing. You get some ideas. 
you create you create a lot of really good talent. You'll you'll never run out of ideas. Literally, you'll you'll be able to create a new email every week without much of a much of an issue. Okay, so save sixty dollars. You see some websites are using or some some of these emails are using emojis. Could be worth trying out, right? Uh, let's see here. Uh, that's CBD retail trends. Uh, a lot of emojis. I don't know. Uh, yes, we did 50% off gummies this weekend only. So I'm kind of noticing a lot of uh, time constraints, right? Like, so a lot of counters, like buy now, today only, this weekend only. You know, lowest prices of the year, up to 60% off. You know, so just kind of give it all, all a look through. I, I know this is going to take some time to develop, but creating this email account and, and getting these emails in, in your uh, your catalog is definitely a good way to go. Okay, so potentially you have this this email account with all these uh, all these great emails in it, right? We then have, what do we have? We have our swipe file, right, that we worked so hard on. And you have all this ad copy from all these different brands, okay? All right. You have the keywords that you're using for SEO development, right? This really wouldn't apply too much to the um, emails that you're sending out, but it's something to be mindful of, right? Like it's something that you kind of have on hand. So whenever you're kind of doing anything with your marketing, really you have these files open. You have your swipe file open, your keywords open. And then you have your customer demographics, right? You know all these things, you know, probably off the top of your head, but just having them around. So what sort of, okay, you're creating an email campaign. What should I, sort of content should I create, right? Well, our main keywords are, you know, around these sleep gummies, CBD for sleep, whatever it might be. So I know, what I do is just take a look, see what kind of emails I've gotten for sleep. Okay, they have a few things in there. I don't know what that is. Okay, time to get better sleep. This is great. Yeah, it's great. It's a really simple email. Put you in a product. This is actually a really good ad copy. So here you go. Here's another lesson. Um, so. Again, we're always adding to the um, swipe file, right? So this is some really good ad copy. Copy that. Boom. Go to the swipe file. Uh, we could, I guess we could create just another category for to be used for, for any of your marketing, but that's just good ad copy to have. Have that on there. But that might be a good uh, sort of email template to emulate, right? Really super simple. It's it's just about it's just about your uh, about the CBD sleep products. Okay, that's good. It has a review on there. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. I like the first one better. Let's see. There you go. I think this is a good template as well. Very simple. Just uh, pushing the product. Okay. Yeah, that's good to add copy, right? Copy that. Okay. So, yeah, you're basically using uh, these emails as uh, references and that you can search through any time and uh, use, use for your campaigns. You're always having your swipe file on hand, right? You're using, you have your keywords on hand you're using for keyword development. You can include them in the emails. You know, not, not really a huge factor, though, but they're, you know, it's good. And, and potentially uh, ideas for content creation. And then uh, your, your consumer dem demographics, right? So when you're writing the email and questions arise like, uh, possible, you know, uh, text creation or what images to use and whatnot, you know that your customer base is, as in this example, female, Santa Monica, California, 25% off, right? Okay, so there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a connection, right? So we just saw that a lot of your, a lot of the major brands in your industry are pushing a 25% off sale, right? We also know that your customer base is using the 25% off coupon more than any other coupon, right? 
So what are we going to push? 25% off, right? We're going to get a 25% off coupon. And we're going to push that, that sort of sale because that's what, what uh, works best with your customer base. And that's what other uh, major brands are doing within your industry. So that's, that's, a, that's a teller right there that you should definitely uh, consider. So uh, make sure that the images are conducive to, to iPhone, whatever that may, may include. Sleep aid's your main product. The average purchase price is $50. So again, maybe uh, 25% off orders for $50 or more. Yeah, that, that's, that could be one, one option. We know that a good amount of them are subscribed to the mailing list, so definitely emails are going to be the way to go. And most of them live in apartments. That doesn't really apply to this, but. So, creating content, pretty, pretty well covered. But another uh, option is just checking out uh, Google News. This is not, got to kind of look through here, but. Did it face out of the way here? Okay. A lot of this stuff is kind of just marketing nonsense, but. Uh, okay, that might be something. Yeah, that's junk. But yeah, just, just kind of look at the news for your particular niche, right? So, you know, what is. Seen a lot of this lately, a lot of CBD uh, for erectile dysfunction. I guess that's a new thing that they're pushing. It's funny. Yeah, a lot of this is just kind of marketing stuff that they're pushing, but let's go and take a look here. Okay, so let's take a look here. A lot of this is just kind of filler content. They're just, you know, affiliate marketing or, or doing something like that, so. Uh, that's, yeah, that's junk. Okay. So this is, there we go, right? There's some decent uh, ad copy right there, right? Uh, um, I guess we could just create another category here. So you just have a really good uh, paragraph that you could potentially use for future ad copy. Let's see here. Yeah, this is just pushing a product, but yeah, that's yeah, not really. Something I'd write an article about or use within an email. Yeah, yeah. You, you see, you see these kind of articles all over the place, and it's it's just oversaturated. You know, if you're going to write a blog article, really, really make it good. You know, just just spend some time on it. It's just you kind of have these generic things where it's just like, what is CBD? How can CBD help you sleep? This one gets a little bit more into it, but it's it's clearly just pushing uh, some sort of product. But, you know, this could actually be a good one. So you could, what you you know, if you wanted to, uh, if you like this article and you feel that it applies to your, your industry and your, your, the product that you're pushing, you could essentially uh, rewrite this, this article, right? Keep it, keep it very, very similar. You know, obviously use, use new wording and whatnot. And then go over the article. Include your keywords within... The article, not shoehorning it, just trying to you know get them in wherever you can, and then create a an email around that article. Right? I would I would suggest uh, within that within in that email you can you know just take some content from the the uh, blog article and then use a uh, you know one of these templates that looks pretty good. Let's see where where's that one that I liked? I, this one's good. So. You could um, have the, this template that's sort of already made. Use content from your swipe file, and you know, mix it with your demographics and your, your keywords and whatnot. Create something like this, and then have a link to your blog article. Now, under that, you could have additional links to uh, your products. So, yeah, like some, something maybe like this, where you have, you know. Let's say, you, let's say you had two or three different uh, sort of products that were related to sleep, one for gummies, one for oils, one for, you know, rubs, whatever it might be, and include that under there, right? So it's just an idea for creating email campaigns, but also also blog content because they, they play off of each other a lot. So 
if there's a particular keywords that you're really looking to develop, this would be a, a good way to go. But but ultimately, creating this email account and and sign up for all those uh, newsletters, it's it's it's, it's going to pay off so so much in the long term. Right? It's just like a lot of, of all of the stuff that we're doing, right? The swipe file, the demographics, uh, you know, those keywords. This is all kind of the, the work to lay this foundation, but I mean, it's it's a lifetime marketing campaign that you're really building here that's going to deliver profitable results rather quickly, right? So this is just one of those things where just creating an email account, sign up for this newsletter, a few hours, you know, it, you can make so much money off of that. So really uh, highly recommend it. How does CBD impact the thyroid? Eh, you know, it's a uh, CBD legal. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of a fluff, fluff article, but. You know, it could be something worth using. So if you like this kind of content or this sort of topic, this sort of article, you know, rewrite it, include your keywords, post it to your website, right? Create an email campaign around that. Make sure that you include your product links. Send that out. Get some traffic to the site. Those Google bots are going to crawl you. And, you know, you'll get some SEO rankings uh, off of that. So let me just try one more. Just want to see if there are any good. Uh, keywords might have some good uh, article content. Okay, yeah, nothing, nothing in the news. But you know, you you can definitely search for the keywords that you're developing and just look at other articles that are out there and see what they're doing. You know, you could you could very easily. You know, grab this article. You could rewrite it. You could get someone to rewrite it. Again, freelancers are very cheap. You know, you're looking at spending maybe twenty, thirty dollars to have someone rewrite this article, and just let them know, hey, here's a list of keywords. Include these keywords. You have this uh, originally original written article posted to the website with a few pictures, right? Create an email campaign around that using one of your several templates, and include some links to your your products. It's it's a it's a pretty good little system there. So let's see here. Okay, yeah, I think that's a I think that's about it for this lesson. All right, talk soon.